So this is your last 48 hours before you go back. So how do you feel about that? Definitely gonna miss my family. At the same time, I've been there, so I know what to expect. What do you want people to know that they don't know about this whole situation? That I'm not what the media portrayed, that I do own up to what happened. I sincerely wanted to not be at that meeting, and I did put forth effort to try to not be there. And that, of, of course, I have guilt, and I have a lot of sympathy for their family and what they've had to hear and deal with. Her children feel very betrayed by you. They say that you are evil. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? I would probably feel the same way if I were them. And I'm extremely sorry to them for how this has happened. Do you feel like you've let people down? Sure. Who have you hurt the most? Myself and my family. And of course, the victims, Kelly and her family. That's why I asked you if you were relieved when you got arrested. Because at one level, you had to think, okay, okay, thank God this is over. Nobody's been hurt but me. And this is a high price to pay for immaturity, but you're not a killer, Tara. I know killers. You're not a killer. I asked Tara what she would have to say to you if she was sorry for this. Here's what she had to say. I'm beyond sorry. I didn't ever want this to escalate to this and that I wish we could have worked things out. Thank God for you and for them that nothing further happened. Me too. So you don't think there's real remorse there? No, I don't. I don't either, no. She's sorry she got caught. What do you want Tara to know? I mean, she never did fool me. Like, she tried to manipulate me, it didn't work. I just hope her current family and everyone involved with her are really careful being around her, because she will pull them in and do the same thing to them. I've talked to a lot of killers, and I think that she is so immature that I don't think the gravity of what she was talking about and doing ever hit her. I don't think it ever landed on her that somebody's life was really going to be ended here. If you're a really a cold-blooded killer, you don't put stuff in writing like this. I'm not excusing the behavior at all. I'm just saying I think this could have gone bad in a really bad way. I just don't think she ever got the concept of what was really gone here because I think she's functioning at a very childlike level. Jenny, thank you for doing the right thing. It would have been so easy for you to just say, you know, I'm out of this, I'm turning my blind eye to this. But you put yourself in jeopardy by going to the police, knowing that you're gonna to confess to having been involved in this at one level. You put yourself in jeopardy in order to take them out of harm's way. And I'm very proud of what you did here. Fair enough? Yeah.